Wonderful scene here at Wembley. An ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. It's Manchester City. They face Manchester United. And it's live on EA TV. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Number 16, Rodri. Number 10, Jack Grealish. Number 17, Jordan and so they starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kyle Walker plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. Bernardo Silva plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the focal point in attack today, Marcus Rashford. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. An absorbing match in prospects. Manchester United get the ball rolling. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Stones. Ronaldo Silva. And a decent delivery. Still not clear. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Now, let's see what they can do here. A really sumptuous ball. Well, quite simply, that is a wasted chance. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. again from the flank can't miss surely reading it well Not comfortable in dealing with the cross for Nansch. that's going to be a city ball Stones, Bernardo Silva, Gundogan, on to Haaland, can he put it in, it's one of the saves of the season from De Gea. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one.
and deciding to go short with this one De Bruyne targets available cross comes in and the problem not completely solved well that's the end of that for now into the advanced position oh and a penalty has been awarded big moment here can they get themselves ahead well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. This to make it 1-0. And slot it home! Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Holland. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Advantage, Manchester United. And possibilities inside the box. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Bruno Fernandes but well, he could run onto it here and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack De Bruyne now Gundogan will he play it in so a corner kick it'll be following the deflection and this again the goal that was scored from the spot Put in by De Bruyne. And using his body to good effect. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And he's made headway. Oh, dear, oh, dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. And maybe scope for United to add to their advantage with this set piece. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, he'll be a bit deflated following that effort, but he was being tightly marked. in the middle it's going to be United's free kick
unable to keep the ball that time. De Bruyne. And back with Bernardo Silva. He has time to play it over. Tremendous ball played through. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Pass could do damage. Pass lacking precision, too strong. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Sancho. And now Stones. And a timely intervention. Ericsson. Can he play it in? Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. Back in business and no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between them in the first half. Will we see a response from City in the second? Grealish. Options in the centre. John Stones. Well-timed tackle. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. And winning it back. Holland and return to Silva after the foul a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick In truth, it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. And he was in the right place to intercept. Casemiro has eyes for goal! 
And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Given away by City. And just losing control of the ball. And it will be a throw-in. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But really sticking to their task defensively. Real chance. And it goes! A three-goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then it's a top-class strike from Fernandez. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Marcus Rashford. A real opening now. On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Rodri are being pressed here. And he saw the situation developing. He has teammates around him. Kevin De Bruyne. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Holland. This looks more than decent. The danger not over. And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 17, Fred. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number five, John Stones. Coming onto the pitch, number four, Calvin Phillips. Twenty minutes to go. Mares, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Marcus Rashford. Oh, great attacking play, and Edison has somehow kept it out. Here's a change for Manchester United. And a short corner here. Oh, good-looking run. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. And clears the danger. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Out of play, City throw. Holland. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Breaking at pace. There to win it back. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Sensational goalkeeping from David De Gea. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ten minutes left for play. Get 
getting in there to intercept. It's going to be United's free kick. Well, sadly, you've got to say it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. So a personnel change then. And City recovering possession well. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Mares. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Grealish and the free kick awarded to Manchester United well in the closing stages and City not enjoying themselves out there well this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today how many times have they been opened up during this game and there it is a goal but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Underway again with the score at 3-1. They might be able to get in now. Sancho. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And he cuts in from the wing. Will he finish? Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Jaden Sancho. Playing advantage here. United keep it. Getting the better of his opponent. And the cross smuggled away. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But over... The right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. 
They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. And really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.